the energy vibration is reading for all you Sagittarians in the um, first, the third week of December 2016. I want to say to each and every one out there, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for supporting my channel. I'm hoping that these readings will resonate with you. Please thumbs up, likes, and shares if this is your first time. Thank you for being here, and I hope you return. This is the third week of December 2016, and I want to say to each and every person out there, it's going to be a week of an Earth Energy Vibration Week. And this is the Sagittarians reading for the people who are not having birthdays, okay? So when we look at the week and we're going to break down the week, we have the, the week of an Earth Energy, which is just so fantastic, especially for you Sagittarians, because you're so um, close to an Earth Energy sign, which is good. As we look at the energy for um, the overall energy is going to be the hermit and the hermit is good because he is balancing off. This is just one of those very powerful weeks before Christmas because you have the hair fent and the um, situation with the hermit, which is just so fantastic. This is just good. Okay. As we look and see what is going on, the number energy is five. It's always changing. Okay. Whatever, whatever was happening, if you had a situation in the justice system, in the legal system, or you have conflicts with other people, the negative energies that was around it, that was blocking it, is going to come to an end, okay? So if you were having a situation in a justice system, but people were illegally doing things and... um you know at this time it is good and then somebody comes up with this and you know it's going to come to an end so whatever sit, um, situation you had in the legal system in the justice system or with all the people that you needed to balance it's going to come to an end okay it's going to just come to an end an end of that negative energy is going to come to an end and that's going to be a Monday. And this is wonderful because the energy of the devil with justice is just so good. And it's working out in your four deal because whenever the energy with the devil and justice is here, what it's happening is that the people who were um, blocking your thing, because sometimes lawsuit takes so long because some people just drag their foot with these things in the legal system because um sometimes the other side is, is wants to bring it out even when they know they're wrong they want to find all these reasons not to just bring something to balance and this is why we on hurt has the justice system and then we have the karmatics um the wheel of fortune for the karmatic situation that's why i'm always giving people the difference when they both fall in the week as we look at as we look at Tuesday, it's wonderful because you have been victorious over a situation that was in the legal system. You are so victorious over it, and the chariot is bringing you along with the um, Queen of Pentacles. I'm just so loving this for you guys because your whatever what what was going on, your financial situation is going to come to a wonderful wonderful um good balance okay so you will be receiving whatsoever it for some people if it's a situation with the justice system you will be receiving um financial abundance because the um the chariot is bringing the queen of pentacles congratulations that is one of your best days and also monday was the best a good day for you guys as we look at Tuesday, we have the energy of the stars and transformation of death. And this is very good because if you had a situation with an organization um, that you had conflicts in for a very long time, it is about to end. And I'm loving this. For the rest of the people who have kids, um, you really need to connect with your kids because what's happening right here at this moment is that a transformation is going on with your kids and you really need to connect with your kids. So if you don't have to work at Christmas, please take at least Christmas off. And I know some people are saying, um, you don't understand what it's like. Yeah, but your kids is more important. Okay, so 
please take Christmas off and kind of connect with yourself next week. You know, as you listen to this um, reading, I know, you know, the universe, whenever the universe um, see that we're doing something um, in based of love and not in based of materialistic thing, they will give you the time off and they will give you the time to spend with your kids. Okay, please. And you kids go home and visit your parents, connect with your parents next week because it's Christmas. Stop with all these um, conflicts with your parents. It's Christmas. It's time to go home. As we look at the energies on Thursday, we have the Eight of Cups. This is a wonderful energy that has been coming in for a lot of other signs. This Eight of Cups is whenever you're so emotionally balanced that, you know, um, you're using the emotions in, in a higher vibration, which I love the energy of the Eight of Cups. I just so really love all the Cups energy because that is when we you know the eight of cups is one of those energies is when you balance your your own um emotional pain and whenever that is balanced you know even though you are upset about something you are emotionally balanced to bring it out in another way so this is just so powerful because you will have a powerful situation to deal with the eight of uh, with a situation with the eight of cups and this is what is going to happen for you on thursday what i'm looking at is on friday on friday we have the energy of the fight of five of swords and it's so it says you were fighting a battle um over um a documentation so it can be a divorce paper that it wasn't you know it can have something to do with divorce it can have something to do with study and it can have uh, things to do with like investments you were looking for investments you were looking for mortgage and so and you had the five of swords it's like you were fighting these people to get justice to you know get the situation going it can be a situation that you were fighting with your former work um the people who you work for um that you they did something that was unjust that you brought them um to to justice and you know this energy is here and what is going to happen is that you are going to um overcome the situation it's it's like one day you're just gonna look at it and think about it and just you're going to overcome it and by doing that you are going to realize that um the four of pentacles you have on sunday because you know on saturday you have judgment and this is when the energy of the moon comes up but the moon is always so intuitive and the moon energy it brings you judgment brings you the moon energy which is awaken you to something that if you look deep within yourself you will find the answers to something you're looking for okay so on saturday you're going to have that and that is going to help you out of the situation and then you are going to realize that somewhere else is going to be much better for you and this situation it's like you're going to realize that maybe if you go to another city another place another country or something like that that is going to help you so you know there's a lot of people trying to find a way out and a lot of people trying to figure out what is the best situation for me and most of the time whenever you have like divorce or so then you just want to move away from where you are and a lot of people the energies of divorce is here because it has to do with a lot of documentation finding your emotional balance legal system and you know these have to do with um um people who are divorcing people who are separated um it has stuff to do with your kids you need to connect to your kids in this week and you know when i look at you know the four of pentacles is always it's like you need this money so you can move away and you will receive this money all the negativity all the people who were hating and working against you is now in reverse and you have the three of cups for your overall energies i am saying to you um sagittarians out there this is a powerful week of cleansing sometimes things happen like these for us and 
we need to get rid of things and especially for the people who are going through lawsuits this is going to be a wonderful week because you're going to be justified in this week and you're going to win it's going to come out in your best interest i'm loving this week for you guys and um don't forget you will um you will find um the right place you will celebrate this win in a big way okay and i want to say to you stay tuned for the general readings welcome this is the week number 50 we only have two more weeks to go wonderful welcome this is the general energy of the week number 50 and i want to say to everyone out there get ready because next week will be christmas oh this is so wonderful i love december it's just one of my favorite time of the year i love the winter i love the cold i love the snow and this is beautiful and this week, um, the week number 55, the five is changes, okay? So whenever changes comes in our life or whenever changes is about to come into our lives, we always see the number five and extremely when we see f um, three times five behind each other, that means huge changes is coming in our lives. And we really need changes because we can't stand just one place in our life. We need to have changes. We need to understand that changes needs to appear we need to let go of the hold so that the new can come in and it's Christmas it's going to be Christmas so we're going to have all these gifts and we can you know I'm asking each and every person out there if you have something that you haven't worn for a year or so now please give it away or you know it's a time when people have less to give out use it and give it to someone else as an bird as as a as a um, Christmas gift this time or even give it to Salvation Army or give it to a homeless shelter please that's just my wishes for you guys to do in this week as I'm looking at this week, we have the angel of strength come in. And whenever the angel of strength comes in, it's you need inner strength because, you know, you're coming down to the holiday season. Thanksgiving is, is, has gone and it's the holiday seasons and you want to, you have inner strength, inner strength with your family, inner strength to realize that, you know, maybe it's good if you go home for um, a family gathering or so but whatever is happening to you out there whosoever it is a man woman child or a universal student as to someone going to the university or someone going to college it is a time when you're going to connect with other people connect with your family connect with other people and the angel of strength is giving you the strength so you can do that as we look at the next energy we have the compass and whenever the energy of the compass comes up that means change are about to enter your life and this is wonderful energies I'm loving this energy because whenever the compass comes up that means that something is about it's like um, your divine blueprint is about to awaken awaken and show you the bright direction because when the compass comes up it's alter is is the master of your divine print which is awakening you and trying to stir you in the right way as we look at the last card for this week of the f um this week number 50 it says no place like home so this is what i'm saying to each and everyone out there if it is possible that you can go home this christmas and be with your family and connect with people you know even the people who you choose to be your family because some people are um disconnected from their own families it doesn't really matter if even you don't have a family please go go out and do something for for the homeless, do something for um, the, the, the kids who have no parents, go out and do something for someone out there, even the man that you always pass on the street. Make a plate of food and give it to him because we're all here together on the journey. Some of us are aware that we are stronger than some of us who has lay by the wayside but please if you have enough and you can give something you don't have to give money you can bake a cake you can make a cookie um you can you know there are so many things there are so many homeless there are so many um people who needs help who needs clothes give something and try and connect if for the people who have a family try and connect to your family i know there are some people who 
thing. Oh my God. I don't like the holiday season because my family is always so, you know, they are family. Okay. These are the ones you have chosen to come in this lifetime to share this beautiful time with. So, you know, go out there, help people and understand that the, the universe have sent you all these conflicts, all these things, but realize that home is within you and within your heart. Even if you don't feel like to go into church for Christmas or whatever, the spirit and the I self, the mighty powers is always in you. So, you know, open up yourself, go home, connect to a family, connect to someone, go to the hospital, do something, help someone in this week. And I want to say thank you for being here. Namaste until next week.